What's up gang, Jason here for the Love of Tractors, and I uh, just thought I would show off my international service truck. So um, this thing was silly cheap, uh, the truck part was anyway, and it had a wrecker, I think, on the back, if I remember correctly. Um, if not, I'll always thought it did. <laughs> so uh, I took a Rockin' H service bed, like so, and... Um, some, uh, let's call it, uh, I was going to say auxiliary, some, I don't know, some extra parts, if you will, and made a pretty kick-butt uh, service truck out of it. So, uh, basically, the um, the bed, or the, the, the uh, wrecker part, basically pulls right off of this thing. And then I had to do some frame shortening here with the old Dremel, which you can see right there. And uh, it's pretty much ready to roll. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um... And the, inter the International, to begin with, is reasonably detailed. Uh, really nice headlights and all that sort of thing. Great grill uh, on the front here with, with some nice texture and ribbing. Uh, also, the front bumper, I think, has got some nice detail. Obviously, we get mirrors and exhaust over here. And really nice uh, you know, fuel tank and chrome steps. So, pretty cool, I think. Uh, door handle detail, etc., etc. Just a nice truck in general. Um, there is a little bit of interior detail, but it's pretty spartan. But you can't see in there very well anyway, so that's okay. Uh, so it does have a rear window. And then uh, if we get back to uh, the uh, service bed part. So again, Rockin' H service bed. Uh, just, just left it the white frosted detail. And then uh, I painted silver where I thought silver was appropriate. And uh, oops, some flasher, li or you know, my, my brake and you know, reverse lights and all that stuff. And then I painted the bottom of the uh, the, the jack stands back there, uh, just you know, just a nice black, um, black, just simple black um, air compressor. So kind of like maybe like a Harbor Freight, uh, what are those called, like uh, Central Pneumatic or whatever they call those, um, air compressor. Nice hose reel there, so you can reel out your air hose with some detail painting. And then I thought, well, they, you know, they've probably got some stuff back here, so how about like a, a couple jugs of whatever in a box? <laughs> Seems appropriate. And then I put a, a acetylene tank there too. So, okay, so this has a crane, so I bought that crane off of Shapeways, and it's uh, they, they're pretty cheap. And this one, I didn't, this one doesn't extend or anything, so it's not like the, uh, the really nice Circle C crane that I've done on a few other service trucks, but it's a decent crane. I'm not going to knock it, especially, uh, you know, if you're just going to have this sitting on your display or shelf, it doesn't need to uh, be, you know, incredibly uh, detailed or awesome. So this, I, I could make this swivel, I think, you know, just drill a couple pinholes, stick a pin in there, it would swivel. Um, but I just decided this would be stationary, that's fine for right now. Um, and then I, you know, painted up some detail parts on it, just, just to give it a look, and just to give it something, so. Anyway, that's kind of it. Not perfect, not terrible, but it's neat. I mean, it's, uh, you know, this is a, uh, this is one of those trucks where if you had it on your display, and, uh, you know, I think maybe if you didn't look real closely at some of the, uh, details, you, I mean, like, you would never know this doesn't, this doesn't turn or extend. I mean, so, you know. That's that. It's kind of one of those built to a price point things, and I think it's cool. And you know, maybe nobody else likes it. That's fine. It can be on my display forever, <laughs> and that's what that works for me. So, all right, guys. Well, I guess that'll do it for this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, hope you don't mind some truck videos here and there. Gonna try to do those when I can, uh, especially since I've got a few um, custom truck projects. I guess we'll call them uh, coming up here, and um, you know. So, hope you don't mind doing that so all right guys thank you for watching i hope you have a great day treat each other well happy tractor hunting